Well hello and welcome back. Um, I'm Bomber Herald and thank you for tuning in. This is the Fred Everest Challenge. First off apologies for the first video. The audio got screwed up. Not sure how that happened. Hopefully the, the same won't happen to this video. Um, I will at some point go back and maybe do redo the audio on the first video or redo the whole video to begin with. Um, so what we'll, what we'll do is I'll just run through what this um, what this save is going to be again. It's, um, it's looking to emulate Fred Everest, who holds the record for the longest period in charge of a football club. He was in charge of West Bromwich Albion between 1902 and 1948. That's 46 years. So the whole challenge here is looking to emulate that. We're going to start we're starting with West Brom. We're going to see if we can go 46 seasons with West Brom. Now, what we're going to do is going to we're we'll try and emulate how Fred Everest operated back in the time. So. Because he was a um, he was a secretary manager, he didn't really pick the club with the team rather week in week out. That was done by a committee of board members, which Fred Everest was part of. But the overall say came down to the selection committee who selected the players to play. So what we're going to do is each match we're going to come into the tactics. I'm going to use the tactics myself from Barcelona save here, and we're going to clear everything after every match. And before the match begins, we're just going to quick pick. And that's how we're going to simulate that. So we're not going to have the input. We're not going to select the players in each position. I mean, that is pretty much the team I would select, having looked at it. But we're going to do that week in, week out. Now, we are looking for some players. So I've had a quick look through. We do need another striker. We've only got Solomon Rondon, who's really adept at being a, a good lone striker. All the rest are um, going to be striking. You've got, like, Har Robson, Carnu, who's... I mean, he's he's okay, but I'd, I'd rather have him out over on the right as an inside forward. That's the way we play. So we do need uh, another good striker. Possibly could do with some depth in defence. Although the the team report says that we've got good depth, especially in right back. It's um, when you actually look at it realistically, there's there's not that much depth there. Um, a lot of the players, yes, they can play right back, but they're primarily centre backs. So we'll look maybe to bring in a left back and a right back and a strike for now. I don't think we need, we don't need anything um, on the wings. I think Nasser Chadley and Matt Phillips, along with Hal Robson Carnu and Jonathan Lecco, will do the jobs on the wings. Attacking midfielder, we could probably do with some back up there if we can get one. I'm not going to make it priority car because from time to time we're going to drop him back into this role to be a register anyway so it's it's not always going to be an attacking midfielder playing there central midfield i think we've got it about covered and obviously the, the center backs don't need anything ben foster and boas my who will do for the first season definitely maybe season two ben foster's only 33 is it Yep, 33. So he'll do us another few seasons anyway. But we will look to bring in a young goalkeeper. So we've got someone there for when it's when it's time for Ben Foster to step back. We've got £16 million to play with. And available age budget, budget of 174000 per week, which is plenty. I'm not going to be using this screen at all uh, for signing players. We've got a tribute masking on, so if we look at a player, we've just got ranges. We don't know how good they are. Obviously, I mean there'll there'll be certain players that we that we know how good they are anyway, because they're um, they're big world talents. But primarily, we're going to be well only using this scouting screen. So let's set the scouts. Obviously, can filter through by position, and we'll go from there. Obviously, what that means is we do need to use our scouting network. I mean we. We know a lot about South Africa, Jamaica, obviously England, Republic, British Isles. So we've got a good um, good understanding of what's available there. I have set my scouts out already. So we've got one scout in England, which is an ongoing. We've got one scout in Central Europe. Um, so that's obviously it's going to be Spain, France, Portugal, Italy. And we've got someone scout in South America because you know everyone likes to sign a Brazilian, don't they? So what we'll do, what I'll do now is I'll go away. I'll 
see what my scouts come back with. Have a look at the players we already know. I'll get through pre-season, which is how many games have we got? Not many. Well, quite a few actually. But I'll get through these. We'll come back. And the next video we'll do, we'll showcase the signings that we've got. And we'll play through this Leicester game. Then, after that, because it because I'm looking at playing four to six years, I don't want to be doing four or five videos per season. Uh, we'll go through and we'll come back for the Boxing Day fixture, which is here we are, Middlesbrough, and then we'll do a deadline day special at the end of January, and then we'll do a season review, play the last game of the season, which is Arsenal, and do a season review after that. Um, so hopefully you'll come back hopefully the audio won't screw up this time and until next time it's this is me bomber herald saying see you later